Hey, Dr. Bo, how do I relieve all of the sinus pain and pressure that I am feeling in my face? That is today's questions. Let's dive in. How can I help you today? Sinus pressure is one of the most common things that people complain about when they're talking about pain in their face. Today, I want to give you guys a few tips, a few massage or pressure points that you can utilize right now to relieve sinus pressure and your pain in the next one minute. So to start, we are going to be using our fingertips. And the area that I like to start at is just above right here at the eyebrow line. What I want you to do is take your pointer fingers here and you're going to go on the inside portion of the eyebrows. Now, what I want you to do is think about pushing. We're going to be pushing up and we're going to be pushing out, but you're just going to take and press on the inside portions of your eyebrows. If you're having pain, uh, facial pain right now, this will be a very, very sensitive area. So what you'll do is you'll take 10 to 15 seconds and you're gonna press right here on the inside portion. Secondly, you're gonna take your fingers and go to the middle portion of the eyebrow and it'll be just above the actual eyebrow. There's almost like a ridge, so to speak, that sits right above your eyebrow and you wanna press on there again for an additional 15 to 30 seconds. You may find that one of them is way more tender than the other side, and that may be because you're having some sort of like sinus or, or blockage that's happening as well. So we go on the inside first, then to the top of the eyebrow, and then we're gonna take our fingers just down to the outside edges of the eyebrow. Matter of fact, most people have almost like a little bit of an indentation, but we're not all the way out here on the temple. We're still on kind of that eyebrow arch, so to speak. So again, you're gonna start here to the top and then to the outside here. You can do a little bit of kind of clockwise motion to try to like move if you have any pressure up here down in to the axle the actually maxillary and zygomatic area that's what this area is called here but that's where you want to start right there second thing we're going to do is we are going to move down to the nostril area now when we're talking about using pressure points you got to break your nostrils up a little bit i know it sounds kind of weird but we're going to be taking the upper quadrant so if i cut my nostril basically in four. So one, two, three, four. What I'm going to do is I want to press just above kind of the outside nostril points and press right here and hold again for about 10 to 25 seconds. This area is one area that you will find an extreme difference if you have one side that's blocked. So again, you're going to press here for about 10 to 30 seconds then you're going to take your fingers and go right below the nostril and you're going to be pressing more of an up area it's kind of more on your cheek so to speak pressing upwards so this one's straight down and then this guy is up again for an additional 10 to 20 30 seconds and then you're going to move your fingers out underneath your cheekbones and for this one i like to kind of use two fingers and I press in here. I'm basically, I'm trying to get everything that's in my nose and maxillary area to be pressed in and then to kind of drain out that way. So I go in here, I press and hold for 15 seconds. I go here for about 15 seconds. Then I take a couple fingers and I press over here for a good 10 or 15 seconds. And then I make about four or five sweeps with my fingers, just trying to take them and pull them back down. Now, what we're trying to do is have everything drain using your lymphatic system over to this left, they call it your sentinel node or your master lymphatic drainage node. And the way it works is you wanna get all of this kind of moving in this way. And there's actually kind of like a pipeline, so to speak, of lymphatic drainage that follows right along this muscle right here called your SCM. And what we wanna do is you wanna take and pull it down to the SCM, down to this area. Now, you don't have to use a whole lot of pressure to do this. Some people think they have to push real hard. You don't. You just kind of have to take it after you've done your different points here 
and just kind of move it along a little bit. Matter of fact, when people do some sort of lymphatic massage or lymphatic brushing, they're almost taking like a really light hairbrush and like just massaging over the top to kind of increase the drainage. So same thing, you can kind of take it down to this side here. Again, take it down to this area here and that'll help out with any sinus pressure, mucus, pain, facial pain that you're experiencing as well. All right, guys, if you have questions about this, I know it's a super, super hot topic because people have been asking me a lot about it. I hope that these different uh, pressure points will help to number one, alleviate your sinus pressure, number two, clear your sinuses, and number three, allow you to breathe a little bit easier. I, like, all right, so I always say, guys, if you have questions, ask them down in the comments. I always jump in. Talk to you guys later. Have an amazing day.